Hi, it's Thursday, or better known in the Ranalog corporate hours as Tech Thursday. My name is Joram, and today we're going to use Select2 as a ring modulator. So how this works is by using the Unity feature on Select2 as a way to switch between inverting and not inverting. If one of your input signals to Ring Modulator is a square wave, this gives you the exact same results. Our input signals here are a pair of generate trees, of which you're just hearing the one right now. Being modulated by step 8 and uh, sent through delay 1. Now, as I turn down the uh, polarizer knob on select 2, you'll hear increasing amounts of ring modulation. Now, why this works is because the Unity gate input switches between whatever position the knob is set at, attenuation or past 12 o'clock to the left inversion and attenuation. It switches between that knob position and the unity setting, which is the maximum. So right now, it's not doing anything. As I decrease the knob, we introduce ring modulation. And now we have the maximum amount. Why is this possible? That's because the Unity gate input on Select2, just like all of the gate inputs throughout the system, will take audio frequency signals. And the Schmidt triggers they have internally will convert any analog signal into a nice gate or trigger. So what's happening here is we take the core output of generator 3, of our rightmost generator, and we just patch that straight into the Unity input. Now let's add a kick drum for good measure. That's it for today's episode of Tech Thursday. I hope you enjoyed this uh, little idea and we'll see you next time. <laughs> <laughs>